Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel we're looking at another fan favorite uh, figure from this particular wave. And that of mini comic book Trapjaw. We'll take a look at him in the packaging. Uh, we'll compare his packaging to the wave 10 figure he came with in the Origins line. Uh, I do have a loose version of him, so we'll take a look at him as well. And the comic he comes with. And at the end of the video, guys, we'll look at another Funko Pop in the world of the Master Universe. So here we go, guys. So you have the fan favorite logo right there in the corner. Master Universe, Trap Jaw, Evil and Armed for Combat. The figure itself, there he is. So if you're not really familiar with what's going on here about this fan favorite line here, or maybe you're just like, what's the point? Uh, so basically, Mattel is giving us collectors a second go-around, a second chance to grab or pick up you know, very popular figures that sold out quickly in their first time around. So figures like Mini Comic Book Trapjaw here, King Randor, uh, Webster, uh, Ninjor, and She-Ra, name a few, uh, Merman's coming soon, and Zodak, and I think Triclops. So, are giving so Mattel, which is really great, is giving us collectors, like I said, a, another opportunity to get our hands on a on a figure that we probably missed out on, or maybe you have one, but you want a, a loose figure of it. But there's Trap Jaw, flip around the back, some absolutely amazing artwork as always. There he is, right there. Of course, the cross sale of the other figures in the fan favorite line from King Randor to Webster to Ninjor and She Ra. And I've done reviews for each and every one of these guys. My original reviews for each of these figures and their fan favorite ones as well, including She Ra. She was a, she was a part of a different wave with the Zodak, uh, Triclops, and. Um, I'm, I blanked there for a second, guys. It's Merman. My, my apologies. But the figure itself, there's no difference between the figure, guys. It's the same exact figure from before. And I'm going to get... Let me get Wave 10 Trap Jaw here. So there's a little bit difference in the box art here. Of course, this is the original box art with the 40th anniversary. Right there, Trap Jaw. The figure itself is, is the same. Even the comic that comes with, these, with the fan favorite one is also the same. There's no difference. There's no new comic. No new figure. It's just basically, like I said... It's basically Mattel giving us collectors another opportunity to get a figure that we missed out on. But as you can see, it's the same exact box, just about. You got the 40th anniversary for Wave 10 to the fan favorite right there. Back up, same exact figure, no difference. Same comic as well. The art, the back of the artwork is also the same as well. There's no difference with that. It's just the cross sale is a little bit different. So you can see, this is Wave 10. Trap Jaw, for the cross art of all the figures from King Randar to Whiplash to Digitino. Alright. This is the fan favorite one right here. But King Randar was part of this wave as well, wave 10. But now you have Webster and Ninjor in this cross sell of other figures. And that's basically it, guys. So this is like this is a really cool thing. You know, I do like the fact that Mattel is giving us a, a second opportunity to get you know a figure that we probably missed out on you know from our first go around with these figures and I, and I like that and here's the I'm gonna put the loose version right here so there he is right there there's mini comic book tra uh, trap jaw so my question is guys where do you go on do you have to go online to vote here uh, I'm curious if they continue to do this and I hope they do like I hope we get more fig like figures like I don't know, like I said before with my you know my other reviews from the from the you know fan favorite line here you know I really do hope that Mattel Creations give us you know uh, some sec second chances of getting some exclusives that we might have missed out on like he Skeletor and Frog Mongler or you know uh, Grizzlor you know uh, Wondar you know Coldar you know f f figures that we can't find it in retail you know so i really hope if this if they continue to do this fan favorite line here um you know they will let us do that and is there a place we can vote you know to do that you know if they can't give us that i mean 
I hope we get like, you know, uh, man at arms from wave one to even Roboto um, is another uh, fan favorite. I would hope that we get down the road. Um, so let me know, guys. What do you, how do you feel about this whole fan favorite line? Is this even a, you know something that you're interested in? Or you maybe think it's a waste of time? Um, so let me know, guys. I'm very curious about how you feel about this whole fan favorite you know line here or wave here from the uh, Origins line. Personally, like I said, I like it. I like the fact that they're giving us another opportunity, a chance to get you know a figure that we might have missed out on, you know, because he sold out so quickly, and I like that. And if you do like this particular, you know, fan favorite, you know, line, uh, who is your, you know, if, if you're looking for someone, you know, in particular in your collection that you might have missed out on. So let me know, guys. All right. But there you go. Like, but like I said, you know, and here's the comic that comes with this one, too. Here's the comic. Real fast. So there it is. Now, I have the multi-language version, so you don't see any bubbles or words in the, uh, in the comic here. But still an absolutely amazing read right here. Beautiful read. And it's the same exact comic from both of them. There's no difference. Um, I'm sure that the cross sell in the back of this particular one, the fan favorite one here, will still have the same cross sell as this right here. Okay, Even though the cross sell in the back of this packaging is quite different, a little bit different, I, I believe that you know it's the same exact um, uh, packaging, or I'm sorry, the uh, cross sell of these figures here. But yeah, like I said, like, you know, I do like this. I do like this. I think it's a wonderful idea. I like the fact that Mattel is, is like listening to the fans, you know, giving us another chance. You know, you know, I'm sure the fans are trying to like getting online and, and telling Mattel like, hey, is there any way you can, you know, you know, put these figures back out, you know, in, in rotation and give us another chance. And, and, and Mattel's like, yeah, sure, we can do that. We can do that. Um, but I just if there is a, like a place online where, you know, you can go. And say, hey, I want the next wave after the Shira, Merman, Zodak, and Triclops. Let's get. Is it possible to you know get a reissue of the Leo Skeletor? I mean, Leo Faker in duplicate, or Frogmongler, or you know Fangor, even Shira or Sunman. Is there any way we can you know maybe get an opp another opportunity to get those for you know maybe the next wave of fan favorite line? So I'm curious if there is a place you can go online. Maybe it's Mattel.com. Uh, scroll down to you know to the Mattel He-Man section, and maybe there's a place you can vote for. Possibly, if there is, I'm gonna try check it out and see what you know if I can find it. But if there is a place, guys, let me know in the comments below uh, about that. And like I said, and how you feel about this whole fan favorite uh, line here, your feelings about it, and think it's great or it's a waste of time. Um, so let me know guys, so, but there you go guys, there's a look at Trap Jaw, his mini comic book version, and speaking of mini comic book versions guys, real fast, of course I had to bring out my mini comic book, I think I showed him before on the channel, but if you already knew, I have the, the mini comic book version of Trap Jaw for Funko Pop right there. So this has been like the week of Trap Jaw guys, you know, a couple days ago we looked at the Cartoon collection version of the Filmation style Trap Jaw. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have not checked that, you know, please check that out, please, uh, on the channel. And then yesterday we looked at the Mouse Jaw figure, the new crossover Turtles and Gray Skull event, where they uh, combined Trap Jaw with some mouse or technology. It was pretty cool, and I unboxed him as well on the channel. So if you'd like to check that out, please do, guys. Then now we have the the fan favorite. Uh, mini comic book version right here. The fan favorite voting figure right here. Alright guys. Like I said, like 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 I said, if I if we can't come if they can't give us any type of the exclusives, you know, let's get, you know, another chance at Roboto, uh, you know, uh Man at Arms, Wave One Man at Arms. Uh, even like Tila, and I like to get Tila, but maybe with the proper knees, the more small, uh, uh, female knees, kneecaps with her. I think that'd be a nice little touch. Even with Evil Lynn too, the first wave Evil and wave one Evil Lynn, if they can get a, get a reissue of, of those figures with the different, you know, you know, female, smaller kneecaps for the, for the female figures. I think that'd be a nice touch. Like I said, of course, we're getting Zodak, Merman, it's going to be amazing. 
Triclops, you know, being my favorite figure. Uh, I can't wait to get a, another version, unpunched, I hope, uh, in the collection. And that's another thing, you know, a lot of times, places like, you know, Big Bad Toy Store, which I found, I think Big Bad Toy Store, TRG Toys uh, in Collectibles.com, um, I'll leave a description below, are starting to get these figures in, these fan favorite figures, if you're looking for Webster and Ninjor, or King Randor, um, in your Origins collection, because you missed out on, uh, check those guys out. TRGtoys.com, uh, and I'll leave the description below uh, in the you know, if you want to check those guys out. Um, also, guys, I'm curious if you do get a fan favorite Webster, real fast, guys. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reports that the string is binding up; it's not working properly. It's like getting stuck, or it's, you know. Uh, let me know if you do have your a, a fan favorite Webster out of the box. Um, let me know. I'm curious how your string is working, you know, in your in the backpack. Is it working properly? If, if you're having any issues, basically. So let me know, too, guys. I'm curious about that. I've been hearing a lot of reports. Mine's fine. Mine mine works okay. Um, the only thing I had problems with, it was kind of weird, um, when I got mine out of the box, the the hook, you know, the grappling hook, uh, was, um, un, not, it was not tied to the rope, the string. I had to tie it myself. Now, I never owned a Webster before, you know, vintage Webster, so I didn't know if that was, you know, proper or not, that you had to tie it yourself. Uh, so let me know, you know, you know, if that, if you have any problems with your, uh, with your Webster. All right, guys. All right, I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys, all things. Master Universe. Oh, one more thing, guys. You notice here with the fan favorite real fast. You see there's no new for 24 or new for 2023 or 2022 or even the 40th anniversary sticker at all. It's another little difference between the fan, you know, between the boxes here. All right. But but once again, guys, I want to say thank you guys for, you know, uh, if you made it this far in the video, have not subscribed, uh, please subscribe, guys. Um, and hit that like button. Um, thank you for doing that guys. It means a lot and helps my channel to grow and get out there. So thank you for hitting that like button and hit that notification bell when you know upload new videos. And I think I'm going to be heading back to the world of the Masters of the WWE Universe for the next wave of figures. Unless I get, I'm still waiting for my, my Man at Arms, uh, cartoon collection figure. And I'm also hitting like Target and Walmart like crazy guys. Um, I'm still hoping that more, you know, the Turtles of Grayskull, Wave 1 comes out, you know, I'm still waiting, um, it's going to be patient, play that long game, even Target as well, um, so as soon as I get some new figures like that, you know, I'll definitely jump in and, and box those figures with you, uh, Man in Arms, the cartoon collection version is on its way, it should be here any day now, hopefully by tomorrow, or maybe the next day, um, so stay tuned guys, but, um, but we'll definitely be looking at the Masters of the WWE Universe next wave, of figures, another crossover event that happened before the Turtles of Grayskull. Of course, uh, if you're not familiar with that, anybody who's new to the channel, uh, these are WWE superstars in the world of Eternia. So they have, you know, uh, basically armor and stuff like that and weapons, um, you know, in the land of Eternia, basically. It's pretty cool, you know, it's a, and I have the entire uh, collection I'll be looking at uh, with you guys. All right, guys. Uh, share this video guys who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe like Origins here like Masterverse and CGI All right to the 80s uh, To the you know 2000x to the Super 7 uh, to the classics to Mondo to even Funko Pops You know to the cartoon collection now and the Turtles of Grayskull to the even the the Masters of the WWE Universe as well All right, so guys I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.